How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Survivor Kingdom. Sorry I cut the last episode kind of in like a weird place. I was just in a super big rush yesterday. I just had to quickly record one episode before I had to like run out and take care of some stuff. So now I'm back on track. I can sit down and do like a couple here. Maybe take my time a little bit more. Maybe think things through a little bit. I think my kingdom is still pretty well fucked because we're like pretty well out of food and flour and like most things. I have my bakery underway. I'm just gonna go next turn. A merchant arrived. He brings goods from a kingdom far, far away and shows you what he is offering. That's good. I like when merchants show me what they're offering rather than just kind of like keeping it hidden and doing like a mystery box situation. I don't know. That's a bad strategy. As a merchant, you probably want to sell as much as possible. We need cloth more than wine. But uh, we kind of needed other things more than that, if I'm being totally honest. Popularity gain minus nine, so I'm nearly at the like the bottom the bottom end of popularity. That's and a lot of people died. This is uh, I'm I'm heading for like a full on collapse here. Where what's what's my army looking like? Uh, that's not a lot, but I mean I can afford more, but I don't have a lot of people. Let's let's get a few more in there, cause I I'm I'm scared I'm gonna get attacked or something. So let's let's get let's get a little bit more army in there. Oh, okay. Yeah, full population citizens army. So I, I'm back to about a third of the population being the army, which seems like not a great strategy, but it's the best one I got. Six years. That's not it's not terrible, right? Popularity gain three. We're going up in popularity. People like me again. I I'm. I'm winning people back over to my side. What are you, what's everyone doing with their clothes? Why am I always losing so much clothes? Are you just, they should last, like a shirt could last you more than a year. I don't know, maybe if you're wearing the same shirt every day and you're going and doing all your like field work and stuff in it, then I guess I can kind of see how that would happen. Tax income, oh okay. I was like, why the fuck did I make gold? Am I just, do I have an alchemist somewhere who's just making gold? Build an upgrade. I don't think I have enough money to do most things. Increase storage space by 1,000. I don't really know how much I have right now. Farm produces more corn. I think I want more farms. Where did that end up going? Can I, I can't move around, can I? What did I do, where did that go? Oh, maybe I just upgrade. I just upgraded the farm. So now uh, one of these does better because let me think here that produces 200 to 400 corn per level. Okay. Okay. That, that seems good then. I think that was like probably a good decision. I don't know if there's a whole lot else I can do. Uh, da -da. I don't have a lot of criminals, but I think that's also just proportional to the amount of people who have died. So there's that, you know, decrease casualties. Increase happy, healthy, recruitability. No, I uh, I'm not worried about that. I already have I already have a lot of that. Taxes are going up slightly. I'm not going to be very popular this year, but that's that's the way it's got to be. A merchant again. Uh, salt with oh salt. I didn't. I, I I feel like I never actually ended up looking at this what this one was. I don't know what salt's used for, but everyone keeps using so many fucking clothes. I guess I'll buy them more clothes. Oh no, a battle. They have so much infantry and so much of just everything. I don't think I can, I don't think I'll do very well in this. I didn't, I didn't properly look at this last time to kind of weigh things out, I guess. So they have a lot of infantry. Is something negative to infantry in some way? A uh, field, I just did open field last time, I think. You lose one level of the highest region building. What? Why? Ah, oh, because I guess building a castle or something? 30% less range. They have they have a lot of range, so I don't think I want that for them. This is good for range, but bad for cavalry? This might be the best for me, because it takes their cavalry out, and I don't really have any cavalry. Oh, their cavalry just gets blocked. It doesn't get completely taken out. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, that was a very sudden turn of events. Oh god, look at this bloody wasteland. Oh, the orcs really just kind of rolled us over, didn't they? Oh, that, that really didn't go all that well. There's something about the grass texture that's too... A little too busy in my mind. So that the, the like trees and bushes and units don't, don't pop 
enough, if you know what I mean. It all just blends together a little too much. I think that grass textures should be toned down a little bit, made a little more simple. Look at that, look at that nice early on the first couple of years there. Look at that nice healthy increase and then boom, 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 down to zero. Didn't last very long. Shit. Ooh, total battles. One, three, lost one. Not too bad. Turns played seven, events survived five. That looks good on a scale of things, doesn't it? It seems to be in my mind. Units lost? Didn't I lose 938? Didn't I lose fucking everything? All right, I guess we'll just fire up the next thing. New game, cloud and local. Oh, okay, so you can, just, you can have cloud saves in this game. What do you know? Let's randomize. Let's just go with, uh, let's, I'll just click it a couple times and then, and then let me go down to this guy, click that a couple times. So I'm Zaleria and Bart. <laughs> just King Bart. I thought we, I thought we already went over this. Let's, let's get past that. I thought that was part of the tutorial, but I guess the tutorial was just explaining all this stuff. The tutorial, tutorial. I kind of, I was uh, just making fun of myself there for saying it a little weird. Uh, yeah, you go check things out. If it only costs you one damn bread, the size of the orc army is 195 orcs. So I guess maybe that's a good indicator of what my army should look like. 100, 195. Well, at least that. I probably want to pump a little bit more into it, actually. Soldiers are better. Cavalry. Oh, oh, I'm looking at attack, not a mount. Okay, so I was like, holy shit, why do I have 183 mages? I had, I had one last time. Let's get a couple of them this time around. And I'm going, I'm going hefty into the army. Recruits available. That's not how big my army is. That's the number of recruits. All right, well, that's, that's big enough for now, I think. I think that's plenty of people. Which of these do I want? I am going to go with... I wish there was more of these. I wish there was more law options and then maybe like not all of them were available at the same time and you, you kind of had to like pick and choose. Every like five years there's like a, a new vote on what the new law is going to be. Something like that maybe. I don't know. Just spitballing ideas here. The game, I think the game might be... Is it considered early access? I'm, I'm uncertain on that. Not 100% certain. Only one law change per turn. Let's decrease casualties. I, I liked that one last time. It seemed good. Uh, those are nice and balanced. Let's not let's not sell all of our shit right off the bat, because you definitely want to get a nice, healthy excess of things before you start selling everything. Armor. Yeah, let's get a solid like hundred pieces of armor in. I think I think that seems good. And monuments. I want 5% progress per turn. Does that mean I have to last 20 turns for one of these? I am not going to spend money on a mon monument right now. Maybe none of this right now. Is So I have all of these, right? They're all level 1? Is that what I'm seeing? Because I was wondering if some of these still needed to be built. So let's leave that for now, and then I'll, I'll wait till the next turn and maybe give it a couple turns and see what I'm running low on, you know? Pack of wolves, threaten your livestock, hunt them down. We're, we're a nice, well-equipped army right now, it shouldn't be so bad. Although those two guys just went and did it all by themselves, no one else was very helpful there. It's not a lot of losses. Why is, so much, why is there so much armor loss? It's insane to me. Unit saved equipment and lazaret? What is that? I don't know if I know exactly what that means. Lazaret was like the name of that um, law law that I passed. I, I don't know if I totally get it. Food, uh, corn flour, all that. Not not doing great on there. There's that nice popularity gain. Now I'm realizing that the, the fact that I had like a nice positive blip at the start of the last one might not have had a lot to do with me as a king or a ruler. Might have just been a thing that happened because the game is just, it just starts in a nice good place where you're, you're kind of in the positive. How do I, how the fuck do I get more back? Okay, so I, I have produced 335, used 435. I don't understand. Isn't that backwards? Didn't I, no, what happened? I, I could have sworn I used 100. So there's a 100 difference. The math there is just wrong. It should say produced 435, used 100, or remaining 335 or something. I feel like it's very confusing the way it's set right now. This really, it doesn't, doesn't totally make sense to me. 
I, I, I don't, it's just, it needs a little bit of clarity, maybe. Why didn't I use, why didn't I use any corner flower or anything? I have, I'm totally, totally confused by how I'm supposed to be interpreting some of these stats here. Max popularity, though. People are a big fan of Bart. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's do something. Let's shake things up a little bit. What can we upgrade? What would be, what would be best for everyone? Probably something that keeps our corn and flour nice and high, right? Wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you say? So let's upgrade that farm. Let's keep, let's get that going. And then, uh, get ready for our first battle. They have a large army. <laughs> like, it's pretty damn big. Uh, kind of worrisome. I, I do have a lot of ranged guys, so I don't really want to do anything that'll harm my range. This is more range. Their cavalry is pretty comparable. I think the bridge will be helpful to me this time, whereas last time it didn't didn't do so good for me. Oh yeah, my range my range was super helpful there. Oh fuck, there goes all my cavalry and all of the militia, not the soldiers. One of the two. Mm, that was overall pretty good. My range guys all got to hang in there. People are not not as not as happy with me now. Popularity going down. Oh, is this my so this isn't the is this not the balance for the year is this the balance overall that doesn't make sense to have negative 19 berries i think that must be for the year yeah that, for the year that's for the year used this fucking ah oh, that's just a confusing way of wording it i think i think someone someone's got to explain that to me if i'm just totally like reading it wrong someone's got to help me out there oh look at all these re recruits i have available let's just go let's see how that looks I think I can I think I can afford to pump that up just a tiny bit more. Let's uh let's get a bit more of those guys in there. Oh, that was all my gold. That's why it cut me off. All right. Well, I hope that was a uh, uh, money well spent. I hope that's worth it. Some of your villagers found a chest with mystical runes in the forest. I know I know you shouldn't just be looting random forest chests. They're probably cursed, but like I'm kind of kind of desperate times here right now. Let's go for it. Oh, we have to f kill it. What's up with this fucking chest? Oh god, it has a lot of health. Oh no. That I mean, it's I wish there was some way to better represent my losses in in soldiers. Like maybe if there was a number directly above or below the soldier or some sort of something on the side where I could see the number being chipped away at and then maybe if it was like not if I felt like partway through it wasn't worth it, that I could like pull the plug and abort in some way. More, again, just throwing more ideas out there. But take take them as you will. Ah, uh, let me see. Ah, uh, and more popularity loss. I went and killed the treasure. I went and killed some treasure for you guys. Why was no one happy about that? I probably wouldn't be that happy about that if I were a citizen. I'd be like, why were you guys wasting your time going and sending the army to go beat up a, a fucking wooden box? I mean, I, I kind of, I kind of get it. I kind of get why people were maybe mad about that. Why couldn't, couldn't we have chopped up the box and stolen like the fake gold that was inside of it, and then started just like a black market ring of like fake gold or something? That would have bolstered the economy. Why couldn't we have done shit like that? A group of mercenaries arrived at Zilluria, Zilluria, and, and I believe in the negative tongue, it's Zilluria and wants to join your army for the right amount of gold. Well, it's a good thing I spent so much of my money, I'll take it. Is that cheap? I paid I paid 50 cents for each of those guys. 50 gold cents, whatever that would be. That's, I, I feel like that was a steal, wasn't it? That was great. Oh, good, because now now I have an, another battle here. Uh, they have a lot of, a lot of range. Don't want that. Let's just take it to the field. I need a few more battle options, a few more things that are like, this would be great for cavalry, but it sucks for for infantry and like, I don't know. There's just there's room for a few more options here. It's also weird that every option's available every time. If for some re if sometimes only a couple were available because like, oh, there's no forest nearby. It doesn't make much sense. So let's let's ride out this episode on this this epic battle in the big open field of chaos. And uh, <laughs> what, what what's my cavalry doing back there? Hey, that went that went quite well, I think. I I think I killed all of the militia that I just finished recruiting, so that was all right. I must I must be pretty low on armor. I should check that out. And units saved. This what does that mean? What is 19 equipments? What is that measurement? What does that mean? What did I actually just sh 
just save. Why, what's the case there? Nothing ever fucking touches my mages or archers. Why don't I just have infinite of those guys? They're obviously very, very strong and awesome. And it would also be nice if, like, I could strategize a little bit, you know? Because right now I have 100 militia and they just move in one pack. I should be able to split them into, like, four packs of 25 or whatever. And then uh, come up with some kind of, like... Maybe you could get as technical as like battle arrangements, how you enter the field of battle, but mostly just the ability to split them I think could add an interesting dynamic to the game. So next time guys, I will maybe lay lay up and, and not be just like suggesting things for the for the entirety of the time. It's not my game. It's not it's not my place to be telling these guys how to make their game. I'm still having fun with it. I think my biggest thing is I could use a, a little bit of clarity here. I, maybe I just need to spend more time with it and just like analyze it a little more thoroughly and uh, fucking fully appreciate what I'm seeing here because I'm obviously struggling and it makes, makes me feel dumb. Anyways, thanks so much for watching guys. I will see you again soon.